Okay everyone, Joel A. Erickson, Brandon Marcello here for AL.com and uh, lo and behold, a game that most of you probably didn't circle on your calendars at the beginning of the season, Starkville, number two versus number three, college game day. Brandon covered Mississippi State for a while. He's got a better idea than most of us of just what that means. Uh, well, what's it like? What's it probably like over there in Starkville right now? Uh, the town's probably exploding already. Um, I, I've dealt, and it wasn't anywhere near this 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 uh, level, but a couple years back, remember they started undefeated, mm -hmm. and they had a showdown with Alabama at Alabama. They were big-time underdogs in that game, but there was that whole idea of what if they win. Right. And the whole thing, and the campus was like, it, it'll change the program forever. They had finally arrived, it happened didn't happen they got blown out but that there was this hope they started a twitter campaign called we believe they put a we believe t-shirt on bear bryant statue and they were doing they were i didn't know that they were pretty they were pretty pumped up i mean they were a very excited this oh my goodness I mean, this is the biggest game in school history of any sport for them and that's counting them playing a national championship in baseball <clears throat> having said that uh this team, the team watching in the last two games, they don't look like a team that is worried about pressure. Mm -hmm. They're playing loose. When when Texas A&M that last game came out, scored right away, seven nothing. Mississippi State responded like a veteran team, marched right down the field, and did not take their foot off the gas. This is a this Mississippi State team we're talking about reminds me a lot of the Florida teams under Tim Tebow. And I know that's maybe sounds like a stretch, but I don't think it is. I think they're on that level of confidence and play calling and their personnel that this team is the closest thing we've seen offensively to a Florida since Tim Tebow was at Florida. Yeah, I come, kind of coming at it from a different perspective, just looking at it from a football perspective. It, Auburn and Mississippi State, for whatever reason, always end up in these knockdown, drag out mm -hmm. wars to the end. Uh, and Mississippi State, we talked about it with Ashley Knight, that was the one team that slowed down Auburn's running game. Now, granted, they weren't doing yeah, as much of the zone read, a little bit but yeah. they still were the 128 yard or 120 yards, I think, yeah. uh, last year, and they've been very good against the run again this year. So, um, I, I think it, we, both of the coordinators to that, you when you when you're in as many press conferences as we are. Uh, you start to tell the difference between when they're talking about one opponent and another opponent. Both of them, all kinds of praise for Mississippi State. Yeah. Clearly, even more so than last week. This is a yeah. big game. For those of you who find it hard to even just put it in your brain that Mississippi State's good, the way that coordinators talk is as if they're playing Alabama, mm -hmm. number one Alabama. Mississippi State's just a different team right now. I, I thought going into the Texas A&M game, and then after seeing them get up, I, I thought – that right now looks like the best team in the SEC, including Auburn. Then Auburn played LSU, and we saw that Auburn was holding back some stuff, and their defense again shuts them down. Auburn and Mississippi State, I think, I think by far the best teams in the SEC. I think Ole Miss is going to get exposed here at some point, probably this week at Texas A&M. Uh, but I think these two teams are the best teams in the SEC. It's going to be a hell of a game. I think it's going to be back and forth. The atmosphere there's going to be crazy. We're going to be wearing our earplugs probably because it's going to be it's Definitely. going to be pretty loud. We've got to got to work and concentrate, but it's it's going to be something else. It's going to be pretty amazing there. In a, in other words, uh, keep your dial tuned to AL.com because there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what both sides say as the week goes on. Uh, I wouldn't expect much other than praise from Auburn. Right. Probably not too much of that anything other than that from Mississippi State. But big week, the first really huge week, I think of this Auburn football season. Yeah, and who, who would have thought this would have happened? Yeah, it's, most people, I think, probably had the next game, South Carolina South, or the or previous Ole Miss, game. Or maybe Ole Miss, because mm -hmm. so, they were so highly ranked. But. Right. It, this, there were people who thought Mississippi State was a sleeper, but I don't think they thought they were this kind of a sleeper. No, they're, they're pretty good at football. More coverage, AL.com.